All right. Um, so I will record this as well, just so you have something um, up there to kind of remember. So um, the best way I like to think about adding and subtracting negative numbers is think about money. All right. When you have something positive, that's money you have, like literally in your pocket. And when you have something negative, that is money you owe or money that you're going to pay out. Um, so obviously, this would be like five, and then you're bar taking away, you're going to owe four dollars. So if you have five dollars and you owe somebody four dollars, therefore, how much money are you going to have left after you pay them out? One dollar, right? Subtraction. That's going to be simple. And then obviously, if you have five dollars in one pocket and one dollar in the other pocket, then you have a total of six dollars, okay? So those are the two basic ones. Now let's start to get into the ones that are going to be a little more difficult when we start um, dealing with kind of like negatives and subtracting. So this is basically saying I have $5, but I owe you $8. So if I pay you off with the money I have, how much money am I still going to have? Zero, right? And I'm going to owe three more dollars. So five plus a negative eight is a negative three. And the basic rule is when you're adding and subtracting negative numbers, um, the lar whichever number is larger, that's what's going to be the sign. So if you're adding positive negative numbers, one number is positive, one number is negative, if you're adding them, whichever number is larger, whatever sign that is, that's going to be the sign of your ended value. Um, here, when I have negative 5 minus a negative 3, uh, basically I just like to look in English, double negative, I don't not love math, would mean that you love math, right? You have like a double negative. So the same thing over here. When I minus a negative, that's really like adding. So negative, so if you owe somebody negative five dollars and you have three dollars in your pocket, you pay them off and you still have owe two, right? You don't have two dollars, you owe them two dollars. Um, here, I owe you five dollars, and then today I borrow two more. So how much money do I have? I now owe you seven, right? Over here, this is the same. Uh, this one now, I owe you $5, but I have $8. Notice how I'm adding, and the 8 is the larger. So if I have $8, I can pay you off, and I'll still have $3 left for lunch. Right? Perfect. Um, did I, I didn't do one like this. So here, I owe one friend $5. I know I owe another friend $7. Therefore, I owe a total of 12 And... Here's the last one I just decided to do. Again, it's a double negative. Anytime you guys see minus a negative, just nice. OK. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. No?